Okay, in attempting to understand how the scroll operates, uh, this is an eccentric, and I can't, you know, I can kind of, well, yeah, I guess I can get it to move. Okay, that's the way it rotates. And I want you to notice these things here. If I can get to run again. See, they slide back and forth in this slot. So that's, that's the distance that these things uh, oscillate. This one here, now I'm going to pull this off so you can see this thing underneath. This is kind of the little bale thing, I call it. I'm not sure what it really is. But it moves back and forth like that as this thing uh, oscillates. Well, they, these two pieces here fit in the top. Okay, that's a solid scroll, and this is where those pieces here fit. They fit right in there. So this can actually move two on two axes. Back and forth like this, which is the scroll movement, and back and forth on this through the slides in the solid scroll on top. What it's doing, this sliding, see it has actually some movement there because it can slide back and forth this way that allows the scrolls to separate when there's moisture liquid whatever you know in the we hope there's no moisture um, when there's liquid being pumped through this and so instead of like a piston it comes in contact with the head and if there happens to be liquid in there it can destroy the compressor this one just backs up a little bit this thing just slides a little bit and it reduces its pumping capacity but it doesn't damage it so that's why you see these things with uh, no accumulators on their uh, heat pump systems because they don't really need it you can pretty much run liquid straight through these things and they'll mostly survive it now eventually it'll uh, you'll lose lubrication because the oil gets diluted so much and so you'll have wear on these scrolls but that's what they're doing they're actually just moving a little bit out of the way because this axis here is the actual scroll doing its eccentric motion and you can see the eccentric right there this is let's see if I can get moved you can see if my fingers ain't too much in the way that it just wrote it rotates around on an orbit and so and it's a small orbit it's not very big and so when this is on there it's doing that little orbit and you can tell it really doesn't have to go very far because the top scroll fits onto this one we only got about a little less than half an inch there and then we take the eighth of an inch of the scroll the top scroll that has to fit inside this thing then you've only got maybe three-eighths of an inch left so uh, let's take a little quickie about how this thing uh, actually draws air in. This scroll and the, the other scroll into it uh, fit inside it makes a little slot right there. Well as this thing oscillates and you know it's oscillating back and forth like that it tends to close up and trap some gas between the two scrolls and then they go farther and farther, smaller and smaller space. The space gets smaller. It's, it's fairly large. When this top scroll comes up and closes off here, there's a fairly large area, and then it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and pumps it out. Well, if you got something in there like liquid, then instead of that scroll uh, touching this one, and making a close clearance with it, 
it'll actually back up a little bit. Uh, like, well, let's see if I can get it to do it now. That's, that's how much it'll back up. And so it provides a space for anything that gets in the scroll. Now, if you got dirt and crap like that in it, uh, you know, it may just it may just reduce the pumping so much that it doesn't pump anymore. So <laughs> don't pour dirt in the suction line or anything like that. Because it ain't gonna work. Uh, these things do require a lot of lubrication. And uh, if you look at these run uh, with the oil sump that's in the bottom of these things, it, there's a fog coming out of here. It makes quite a mess when you start it up and there's oil in there because the oil pump pumps a lot of oil up into this and it actually moves a lot of oil through it out into the system and back again. So it's a they're simple but complex but that movement back and forth this way is what saves these things from destroying themselves. Now that doesn't mean you can't destroy them, you know. Service techs can destroy anything. Just give us a chance. Uh, I showed you the uh, copper plating on this one and uh, and that actually stopped it from running because when I put the top scroll on here there's actually well let's take a look at what the top scroll on. One other thing I wanted to point out on these things there are four of these sleeves. They slide down like this and there's four bolts that go all across there. Now, if you look close, and I'm going to bring this up close, that uh, sleeve, these sleeves are machined and they have a clearance fit into the holes they go into and of course the bolts go right down through there like that the bolts are tightened down onto this the sleeves uh, and but there's clearance see that clearance there when this these are down on the sleeves they're going to be tight against the sleeves but not tight against this this is actually going to be free to move down and it looks like it's got at least a quarter inch, maybe five sixteenths of an inch, that it can go down. So, uh, I'm not sure really what why it has that much clearance. Other ones I've looked at do not have this, this same thing. But it looks like if it wore in, it could conceivably compensate for the wear. Now, I'm not absolutely sure on that, but I can't come up with any other reason for these things. Okay, so that's kind of an explanation of the uh, uh, Copeland scroll. I did want to show one other thing. If you, there's a little bit of roughness there, but if I rotate this around, now you can see the heavy pitting on that sleeve and the uh, copper plating. And of course that copper plating is going to reduce the uh, clearance of that sleeve and it could jam it. Well that's about all I know about these uh, Copeland compressors. Uh, pretty interesting compressor. Uh, pretty much the standard anymore is going to be a scroll compressor.